You know, Jean, once again, we've seen healthcare dominate headlines here in Nova Scotia over the last week or so. But you know, one thing that comes out of this that to me illustrates some of the problems when it comes to politics and healthcare is the opposition's fixation on getting the premier or the health minister to say one word, and that word is crisis. It seems like a lot of wasted energy for a problem that deserves far more nuance. The problems in healthcare do not fit nice and neatly into a mandate or even two mandates. And I can go back 25 years and list the premiers who have had to deal with uh, uh, successive health pro uh, healthcare problems, whether uh, you know it's uh, underfunding or uh, mental health or whatever. These are recurring problems that happen uh, mandate after mandate. And so far, uh, we haven't been able to get uh, a fix for all the problems that ail healthcare, but that's, I don't think, uh, a realistic uh, expectation. Well, it's not, but it also illustrates how many moving parts there are with a file as big as healthcare. You're dealing with, in this province, one of the oldest and sickest populations in the country, and so those people inherently cost more to treat. But by extension, the healthcare workforce is also starting to age out. The issues we're seeing with doctor shortages are in a lot of ways connected to retirements and doctors who are coming in not wanting to take as many patients. But I think the other thing that's worth illustrating is that Nova Scotia is not an anomaly in this. Every province and territory in this country have issues when it comes to wait times, when it comes to doctor availability. They may be slightly different. The wait times might be an issue in one province for a certain procedure that they're not for another. But there's nothing unique about what we're dealing with. And you have, it has to be said that those who need urgent care in this province, by and large, get it and get good care. Uh, the ambulance service uh, is second to none. And uh, urgent care, as I said, moves you to the front of the line, which is why people are waiting longer uh, in emergency rooms for non-urgent care. It's in many ways as it should be. It's frustrating if you happen to be uh, in a lineup waiting six to eight hours to get in to see a doctor in the ER, but it's because they're caring for people who are much sicker than you. Right, and so that brings us back though to the issue of how do you solve those, those problems for the people who aren't the most acute patients. And I think it illustrates just how complicated it is, just how difficult it is, and frankly, how it requires a more constructive and nuanced debate than simply screaming at the top of your lungs for the Premier or the Health Minister to utter the word crisis.